Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and I thought we'd review the Microsoft Surface Keyboard. I picked this up for my own personal use because I had a Logitech Solar Keyboard for Mac that just stopped working, and I thought it was time to try something else. I didn't want to pick up one of Apple's keyboards. I do switch between a PC and Mac from time to time. I didn't want to pick up an Apple keyboard because it's lacking a number pad, and I use a number pad a lot, and this is just something I prefer to have on my keyboards. Now I could have used their wired keyboard, but I just thought I'd pick up something wireless and Bluetooth. So this is Bluetooth 4.0 and it works up to about 50 feet according to Microsoft. I haven't had any issues with it connecting or talking to my computer, so that's fine. It works fine with a Mac. Now the design of it is really nice. It's a chiclet style keyboard, they're scissor keys, and the throw of them is really good as well. I have no issues whatsoever with with the actual feel of it it has a better travel than the new mac keyboards and i actually don't have a problem with the new mac keyboards but this one feels fantastic the feedback is good from the keys and they just have the perfect amount of travel similar to their keyboards that they have on the new surface laptop and also the new surface book or the newer surface book now it's made out of the same material as their surface books i believe it's magnesium i couldn't find any documentation on that but it's a magnesium alloy as opposed to aluminum that other companies are using. You've got a simple button on the side that's got Bluetooth connectivity. You just push this for Bluetooth. And then if I flip it over to the bottom or the, the underside, what you'll see is if this is plastic, you've got some rubber feet right here. And this whole thing is rubber here to keep it from sliding around. And then where the batteries are stored is a pretty simple ingenious solution. If you've ever used a Mac keyboard, it actually unscrews from the side. This one doesn't do that. This just pops off. This is a piece of plastic that feels like it shouldn't be magnetic, but it is. There's two AAA batteries under here, which Microsoft says is good for up to 12 months. So only time will tell as far as that goes. It includes these two batteries as well. So this just clicks into place and holds nicely. It works really well. It's a simple solution and that's it. Now at $99.99, it's not inexpensive, and I actually picked it up for $20 less than that at Best Buy. I found it on Amazon for that price, and I'll link it in the description if you want to pick one up. But I really like these very simple, plain keyboards. I don't have a normal typing style, and so this is perfect for me. I don't type like this. I type differently. Let me show you what I mean. So when I type, if I'm going to type, hi, how are you, I can type like this but I don't like typing like this. Instead, I would type, hi, how are you? And my fingers go back and forth. So I'm much faster that way. Or I could say, I'm fine, how are you today? And I can type really fast that way and I don't usually make too many mistakes. I'm very quick with this type of keyboard and I find that the shorter throw as opposed to a longer throw of a mechanical keyboard actually slows me down with the, the mechanical keyboard as opposed to a shorter throw. So even those new Mac keyboards that are super shallow throw, I can type really fast on because I like the little amount of travel. I just find I'm faster on it. This, though, feels better than that, I think. These feel a little bit nicer. They're the same price as you pay for an Apple keyboard, maybe a little bit more even, but it feels really, really rigid. If you, you try and twist it, it's just really very strong feeling. It doesn't feel cheap, feels very premium, and it looks great too. It's at a good angle when you rest your hands on it. You could put something for your wrist, but I don't think you'd need it too much. It's, it's very, very comfortable, and they're plastic keys as well. Now along the top, you've got all sorts of buttons. You've got your volumes up and down, play, forward, back, brightness, search, and different buttons for settings and everything else. You can also program these through Microsoft software on a PC, but on a Mac, they're not programmable. However, the volume up and down work just fine. They do exactly what you'd expect. They turn the volume up and down. The play and forward buttons work. The F10 button, uh, here actually switches between programs so you don't get all of the exact same keyboard buttons but you get enough that it's not really an issue and I think most people that are familiar with a Mac keyboard are going to like this one if you're going to use it with a Mac or on a PC it's even better instead of using command on a Mac you use the little Windows key and it takes the place and everything's fine so that's just about it for the Microsoft Surface keyboard now this 
I really expect to last quite some time. I've been using Microsoft keyboards for a long time. I've used Logitech ones as well. The Logitech one that I have that's solar power just started not working properly. The switches aren't working well, and sometimes it doesn't work anymore wirelessly. I'm not sure what that's about, but it's not responding like it should, so I thought I'd pick up something different. Microsoft's keyboards, I've been using a wireless one previous to this at a regular job 40 hours a week for about six years. So it's had a ton of use and maybe I'll do a follow up on that. And Microsoft keyboards, I've just been really impressed with their durability and longevity. And this one hopefully is no exception, but I'll be using it and trying it over and over and using it for everything from editing to typing and whatever I need to do on my home computer. It's not going to be a gaming keyboard, although you could do some light gaming on it. If you're going to game first person shooter, you probably want a mechanical wired keyboard if you're going to do that sort of thing. But otherwise, this will be a great productivity keyboard, especially if you have Surface products, Microsoft products, or even Mac products. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.